Hi there, it's David here from davidprozic.com. Um, it's just a quick video just to show you about uh, a theme for WordPress called Thesis. Um, Thesis is a paid theme, you buy it, and it really does open the doors to how you want to customize WordPress. Um, if you're comfortable with a bit of HTML and you want to get involved in it, I highly recommend you go and get Thesis because you'll be pleasantly surprised with what it can do. You'll also like probably the standard installation, it's very clean and it can be customized, your fonts, your styles, your font, um, different sizes, etc. throughout the site. So it's pretty much, it can be customized just a standard installation, but you can really um, run with this theme if you want to get a bit more involved with it. Um, I'll just skim across a few designs. This is obviously my own site, you've probably seen this. Um, it's just a standard layout. Um, sorry, this is not a standard layout, this is a layout I chose. I went with the one column on the right and I've chose the center column and I put in a custom footer. Okay, so I'll show you a bit more about the custom footer in a sec. I'm going to show you a few other designs now. I'm just going to skim across these because I want to come back to Thesis and show you the control panel just to show you, I mean, really what it's like on the inside and how you can benefit from having it as a theme. Um, I'll jump to this site. This is called Blogushin. This is by a guy called Alex Fraser. Uh, Fraser, sorry, and I recommend you follow this guy or follow his feed. He's got some great articles just about using Thesis and also actually about generally you know blogging in general so some great information on here but you'll see on the design he's got a nice big header simple navigation um, I base my site pretty much on the layout of this I mean I think it's excellent design uses a standard right navigation there's some great stuff here um, you can see there he's just totally changed how thesis will look I'll show you how the standard installation um, looks in a sec and um, this is another site by Alex um, Again, there's heaps of information over here, but you can just see what can be done with it. He's using a custom footer. I actually got the footer from this site. Alex gives a footer away. You can pay to remove the um, tag, but that's where I got my footer from. Um, but it just shows you what can be done. He's using uh, two column on the right and center column or main content column on the left. Again, it's just a totally different design. Uh, this is a site I just found. This is Greg Rickaby. Um, it's got some great articles on here. I recommend reading them if you're interested in customizing the thesis again. Go and read some of these tutorials and just see what can be done with it. Um, but yeah, great site. He's got some good information on here. This uh, site is Double Mule. Now this is pretty much how a standard installation of thesis comes. So when you install it, it'll look pretty much like this. You put a custom header in the top here. Your site will look pretty much like this. You're using, you'll have the two columns on the right so three column layout, two navigational thinner columns on the right. But this is pretty much how it looks. And I won't scroll all the way down, but there's some great tutorials on this site as well for customizing thesis. But they're just some sort of diverse designs to see, you know, what can actually be done with thesis. So if you really want to run with it, you can. You can you can customize this to you can really pretty much turn it so it doesn't even look like a blog. And then there's some great sites out there. Okay, I'll jump into the control panel of Thesis um, just to show you what it looks like. Um, there's options on the left. They've just updated this in 1.6. So they actually have their own Thesis navigation area, but this is in 1.5.1. Um, and you'll see I've got Thesis options and design options on the left. Okay, so Thesis options looks like this. And I've got a plus area here. I can click on it, expands all these options. So I can click on plus and it expands everything for me there. It's loads of helpful little um, help, helpful hints as you're using the thesis. There's loads of little tool tips as such. So, so here's um, here we are in the control panel. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you just some of the things. You've got a title tag here. Okay, you can change the title tag. You can choose to show the title, the site name in the title if you want. Or choose not to. Um, you can have um, canonical URLs. You can turn these on. You can add no index into your pages, tags, daily pages, your um, category pages. Um, you can choose your design. If you're going to really customize it, you're going to check this option here, which is use custom style sheet. That means that when you um, start adding your styles, you only add them to custom.css and everything is called from there. I think also in 1.6 I read that they've actually now made it so you can customize the style sheet directly from inside WordPress, which is a big bonus because before, or well, right now, you have to FTP everything up manually each time you make a change. Okay, so that's design. Um, you can put in your syndication feeds, you can put in your header scripts. It just allows you, you just put that in there and it automatically loads. This is Google Analytics script. Um, the home page data, 
Again, you put all that information in there. Homepage display, um, this is where you choose how many featured posts you want to display on the homepage. And if you want to have the teaser options display. Um, so from here, look, display options header, you can choose to have the header. Um, show the site name in the header. Bylines, if you want to show bylines. And here's the post. So in WordPress, you get a more tag. And you can also change whatever text you want to be after the more tag. You just put the text in there. Um, look, display full posts or display post ex excerpts. This is um, this is for your featured posts. Um, it just gives you so many options, just as it is at the moment. Archives tells you how the archive page tagging, um, comments, what you want to do with comments, um, sidebars. You can choose to show the sidebar widgets, the default ones. Um, and you can also show, choose to show the admin links at the bottom of the footer. Okay, so this is the navigation area on the right. Um, this is pretty cool. If you have um, long heading or long page names, you'll find they've added them in here just like this. Now, all you can actually do, you can just click on this, for example, and decide to change it. And you can just shorten your page name, and you just click um, click the big R save button, and that's it. So it's means that you don't have these real long page names in the title. So if we just jump over to this site, for example, um, there's nothing too long here, but you could, if that was a longer page name, you could just trim it down by jumping in here and editing, editing whatever the text is. Okay. Um, you can also choose which navigation categories show in the navigation menu. And there's just so many options, really. It just goes on what stuff you can do. Home link, where you want the home link, if you want it to um, what you want it to say, you might want it to say something else, uh, like blog or something, for example. You choose the default images here for your thumbnails and your images. So again, you can choose all the default stuff there. It's fairly easy and fairly straightforward. Let's jump into design options. Uh, design options is a bit more like the font styles and things. Um, you'll see here for, for body and content area. Again, I've got heaps of fonts to choose from. Um, for the content area, again, I can choose the size. And then I've got the option to inherit the um, font style from the body or, again, have a different font style for nav menus. I've got header, headlines, bylines. Um, for code, if I'm displaying code, the multimedia box. Um, the multimedia box I'll show you is this sort of area on the right here. You can change this so it loads differently for every category or every page um, that you post to WordPress. So it's a pretty cool little feature, the, the content box. The multimedia box, sorry. Okay, site layout columns from here. You'll see columns through two, three. You can just choose what columns you want. You set the widths for the columns as well there. Okay, you can choose the column order. So it just shows you if you want to pick columns left or right. And um, you've got your teaser display options as well here. This is what shows in the teaser. I mean, the list just goes on and on. Here's your featured box. But you'll see here there's just heaps and heaps of little features, and it's really can be customized, you know, all from the control panel. Here's my default settings for the multimedia box here. I've used custom code and I've put in a script. So that displays on every page. But that can be, when I post, a, when I make a post, I can override that setting. So I can choose to show something else there if I want. So if I jump into this, for example, here, and I choose to edit this post, you'll see if I scroll down, um, I've got the post image settings. So I can override the, the default settings. Multimedia box options can choose to override these by putting in a different code here and you've got some great SEO options as well so you can put in you know a description you can put in all your keywords um, so these are just some of the features it's pretty much sort of all the main ones but it really is um, a quality theme and it's definitely worth checking out if you're interested in customizing thesis or even just started to freelancing and doing some web design for people if you want to use WordPress but turn it into a site that doesn't look like a blog um, I really recommend trying it out. Okay, I hope that helps. I hope that gives you a quick overview of it and gives you a chance to possibly decide if you want to use Thesis or not. Um, there's some links to all the tutorials on this page. Um, go and read them if you're looking to customize um, Thesis. But um, that's really just to show you how it looks in the back end and what you can do with it um, and just really some of the features. Uh, again, once you put the standard installation in, and if you just stick with the standard installation, it looks clean and it still looks a nice layout. Um, okay, so any comments, please comment below and you can, any questions or anything, and I'll do my best to answer them. I uh, hope that helps and come back for more video tips. Mm -hmm.